My name is Josie Chambers. Um, I graduated in Integrative Biology in 2010, and I actually leave tomorrow to start my two years as a Marshall Scholar. I moved to Edinburgh, and I'll be studying Integrated Resource Management for the first year. Obviously, there's a significant academic part to the scholarship. You need a, a GPA of 3.7. Um, you need to be challenging yourself with the coursework that you're taking. Get to know your professors so you know professors well enough that can write uh, positive recommendations for you. But I feel like that's, I mean, that's a very important part, but a lot of these people that are going into these, or that are trying for these scholarships, all have those basic academic qualifications, so I think you really need to um, distinguish yourself in other ways, and that could be by taking a leadership position on campus, having a really unique study abroad experience, um, involving yourself in uh, some kind of music or sports activities, um, volunteering in the community, I, I mean, pretty much anything, but I guess I would say don't if you're thinking about applying for scholarships really early on, I mean, don't do things just because you want to make your resume look better or have a better chance of going for the scholarship. I mean, really do the things that you're passionate about. And I think once you are thinking potentially about scholarships that are really shine through to them, that you're doing what you really love. Really start the process early if you can make those um, early deadlines. Uh, I I had. So much back and forth with my own personal statement, um, where just a ton of people would review it, I'd make adjustments, and it even took me until um, maybe just a few weeks before submitting it, I still felt like there was kind of something I wasn't quite happy with, and it didn't really stick out enough, and so finally, um, based on the feedback of someone, I decided to just go, go all out and start my first sentence with, standing in a swamp in Uganda, poised at the ready to catch any fallen monkey ear, and so just kind of like throwing them right into one of an experience that shaped, that shaped uh, me a lot during my undergrad experience. And so I think to really bring them into those unique experiences you've had in your um, personal statement, and it is definitely, it can get stressful at times, certainly. Um, you get nervous for the final interview, but just uh, just try to relax and have fun with it and enjoy yourself and I think that uh, your excitement will really show through to the panel. So for anyone that's watching this, uh, good luck with the entire process and I hope that um, you get a lot out of it. I think if I, even if I hadn't received the scholarship, I learned so much about myself and focusing my own interests that I think I would still go through the entire process even if I hadn't gotten it. So, so good luck!